myself a millionaire, but do I hate real estate as an investment? No, real estate is what built me the majority of my wealth in my 20s, and it's what allowed me to have that foundation to hit millionaire status at 30 years old. That said, I have made quite a few posts lately talking about the risks that come with real estate investing, showing people that contrary to popular belief, yes, you can lose money investing in real estate, and a lot of people do. The reason I do this is because, number one, I want to be real with you guys, right? There are so many accounts out there that only talk about the positives to investing, tell you that all landlords make money and houses can never go to zero, so that means it's completely safe no matter what strategy you use. Both of those statements are false. The same way I educate you guys on the ways that people lose money in the stock market, like day trading, catching FOMO, letting emotions take over, and help you avoid speculative traps like Forex and crypto. That's the same way that I educate people on real estate. I was a top broker for six years. I have worked on hundreds, if not thousands of real estate deals by proxy. And I have seen firsthand how people get swept up in this cognitive bias that says, I'm better than everyone else. So even though this is risky, I'll be fine. Societal beliefs like real estate only goes up, up, up. And I have seen how hard it can rock someone financially. And this can be an even larger loss than the stock market because when you buy a property, usually you're not just using your own money, you're using the bank's money too. Leverage, aka loans, can be a great way to increase your profits, but it can also be a great way to lose even more money. Yes, you can lose more than what you put in. Does this mean that all real estate is crap? Absolutely not. You can still make great money in real estate, but you need to do it properly. This means not buying a cash flow negative property using the hope, wish, and pray approach as your strategy. This means not buying property without any real money in the deal, aka getting your down payment from another loan or line of credit. This is risky. This means not evaluating a deal based on just some of the numbers like mortgage and property taxes and actually including in things like maintenance and vacancies. This means making sure that you have an emergency fund for your property. I know those are just a few examples of some of the big mistakes that I see people make when they start investing in real estate. I'm sure I'm going to get some real estate bro in the comments that's like, I do those things and I'm successful. Great. It's a gamble. It's a house of cards. If you want to take that risk, that's up to you. But pretending there are no risks with a risky strategy is just asinine. Now, again, I love real estate, but for some of the reasons that I listed earlier and some of my own personal reasons, I probably won't be buying any more properties. Now my focus is truly passive income, so I'm investing in things like mix and REIT so that I still get exposure to real estate because I love it, but I don't necessarily want to be a landlord.